Howdy folks, I wanted to give you an update on the Pip-Boy GUI. Uh, so I've been digging through the code quite a bit and doing lots of different things. As you can see here, I have working animations. Uh, one of the other cool things that I have working now is a fully working boot screen. Uh, so I've got the text flyby that happens at the very beginning of the game or very beginning when you get your Pip-Boy, I guess is what I mean. Uh, along with this, this is all dynamically typed out and then uh, it scrolls up, and then we got the Vault Boy with his thumbs up animation, which is kind of tricky because he actually it's actually uh, about five frames of animation done over different periods of time. And then of course I got the Vault Boy walking here. Um, so it's quite tricky to get this all to work where this little scan line effect is running across the screen at a different rate from the Pip Boy, or the Vault Boy I mean, uh, running. So his little walking animation is only eight frames per second. And I'm actually dynamically generating the head and the body separately, which is how it's done in game because you can have different damage effects for the body. I don't have that uh, dynamically working yet, but I can. Um, some of the other things that I have working now is this like special screen. Uh, so if you go to the Pip Boy or PYP Boy code um, beforehand, this screen was all hard coded into place. And so now I have this completely dynamically pulling off of, a, off of the settings file so that you have one little table you got to update and I can make dynamic screens based on that. Uh, now this isn't the final version, this is not a paragraph yet, it's just a single line and these, these guys aren't animated yet. Uh, but the idea is to have a single space where you generate everything that needs to be on the screen. Uh, for example, the hit points and level and other things down here is a footer that I'm going to be putting into the code. Um, so that there's different screens that have different stats down here depending on what screen you're looking at and then there's also a metadata table in this kind of bottom right corner that uh, I want to generate. I want that to all work basically um, automatically based on uh, whatever file you need so you can customize this as you want. Of course I'm going to make it look like game in game at first. Uh, here's the uh, maps which are working. Um, now you can at least zoom out and do a couple other things. I want to kind of improve upon this. Uh, right now the cache map is not working on the Pi. I'm not sure, I gotta figure that out. Uh, and then you can see that, that was actually a very long lag time before that popped up. And then the world map uh, is not working on the Pi, uh, but I plan on making that a image-based map anyways. Currently it's just a zoomed out version of this map. And then lastly is the radio, which I showed in a previous update, but this is, these are all now dynamically made based on just simply making a folder in the radio f uh, folder with a little bit of metadata file if you want to customize the station name, otherwise it pulls in the folder name. And then you, whatever audio files you dump in there, it will randomly play through as you switch radio stations. Uh, there's lots of improvements I want to make to the radio station. I want the radio station to feel more like you're jumping into the middle of a song uh, so I actually plan on parsing the entire list of radios, the entire list of songs and dynamically either setting them to random or ordered because some of them may be a audio drama and um, setting it up so that when you drop into these, it will actually based up, be based on time code instead of on just randomly playing a song. Uh, there's also other things I could do here. I could actually add uh, streaming radio stations, and I plan on putting a real FM radio into the final Pip-Boy. Uh, we'll see if that happens or not. Uh, I might just be happy with the uh, regular radio stations. So basically what I listen to while I'm doing development anyways is, is the uh, is like old world radio and, and things like that. So this is the progress so far. Still lots more to come. Um, I guess I should talk a little bit about this. So this is an offcut made on the Form Fuse 1. And then behind it is the actual display, uh, which is a hyperpixel 4.0 square. And then there's this little uh, blackout layer that goes on top. And it's aligned to some pins on the back. And then that blackout layer is what makes it so this kind of aligns uh, nicely. Although right now it's not aligning nicely because I'm working through the camera. Um, so this has been more hours than I'd care to say because I am not a developer. There's lots of mess in my code, I'm sure, uh, but I am getting it working, and I'm actually cleaning up some of the uh, some of the hard-coded stuff that was in the in the previous Pip Boy code, along with making this game accurate for Fallout 4. All right, thanks for watching.